Welcome to Corel Painter Mobile. I'm going to do a few quick paintings to demonstrate the application. Let's start off with some watercolor. I'm going to tweak the settings a bit. I gotta say I really like this brush. I love the way it bleeds like a natural watercolor. Something you don't really see in, in other painting apps. As you can see, the interface hugs the sides of the screen to really maximize screen space. We want to capture the essence of the desktop experience on the mobile platform. On the left side, we have the toolbar. You've got paint, eyedropper, paint bucket, eraser, crop tool, transform, and the grabber. On top, brush name, size, color, opacity, and symmetry. On the right, we've got layers. At the bottom of the layer bar, you can change the background color. In the corners, at the top left, you can hide or show the menu bars. On the top right, you have options, and on the bottom left, you have undo read. Navigating the canvas is easy. You can pinch two fingers to zoom in or out or freely rotate the canvas. I really like the watercolor look, but some of the lines seem really harsh. Let's use a blender tool to bring it all together. Perfect. One of the awesome features in Corel Painter is the symmetry. Let's use the kaleidoscopic symmetry to create a floral design. This is probably my favorite tool. You can see it's easy to make something really complex I really want to demonstrate the power of layers. Let's see. This will work. All right, let's put them in place.
He's on a separate layer, so let's erase the background. We can now lower the opacity and trace over the figure. And that's your tour of Corel Painter Mobile.